Hey guys, welcome to episode four in the Evolving Game series. Now in this episode, we are going to add a first person camera to our third person character blueprint, and then we are gonna give ourselves a way to switch between our third person camera and our first person camera while we're in game. Now this is gonna be a very quick one, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we wanna do is open up our third person character blueprint. Let's go to the viewport. And under viewport here, we can see we have our third person camera here that already came pre-installed basically in this template that we chose. So let's just go over to the camera and first we're gonna rename this one. Let's just call it, let's just spell it out. Let's just call it third person camera. All right. And while we have that one highlighted, we are going to right click on it, hit duplicate. And then we are going to call this one first person camera. And we're just going to drag and drop that right onto our character mesh. So it is in the same place as the third person camera right now. So we are just going to zero this out. And that puts it in the, pos the zero, zero, zero position of what it's attached to. And it's, that's our mesh. First thing with camera selected, we're going to come over here to the parent socket. We're going to hit this folder and search. So, so we want this camera to be parented to the head socket of our mesh. And the head is right here, or we can do search here. Now you see it snaps to the head of our character. Now it doesn't look great because we need to position this. So we are going to rotate 90 degrees that way and 90 degrees that way. And we can see up here, Unreal Engine likes to do this, but we're just gonna take this and make it an even negative 90 and make this a even positive 90. We could go through and activate it and look at it, but I can tell you right now, it's gonna, the head's gonna be in the way, there's gonna be some clipping. So we are going to slide this up 10 units. So it ends up being 10, a positive 10 in the Y. All right, compile and save. See, next thing we need to do for the first person camera is we need to, with the camera selected, we need to use pawn control rotation. And then we want to turn off, so if you'll look at our third person camera, we come up here and you can actually see it here at the bottom of the screen. If you type auto, it'll bring it up just in case you guys can't see that. So auto activate is on, on the third person camera. And that's what we want. Let's just say we're gonna start the game in the third person view. But we do not want that activated for this camera. So with the first person camera selected, let's come over here and turn off auto activate. Save that. And that should be all we need to do with our physical camera adjustments. So let's go back over to the event graph of our character. Let's come over here underneath the sprint that we made in the last episode. And we're gonna start our code right here. Now the first thing we need to do is decide which button we want to press to activate this camera toggle. Let's go over to project settings, go to input. We are gonna add an action mapping and let's just call this toggle camera. Hit that button and I'm gonna do the V key. That's typically what it is with most video games. 
we will come back over to our blueprint and then we will right click type in toggle camera there goes our input uh, first thing we're going to do is create a branch on pressed we are going to grab our third person camera and we want to check if it is active so we're going to just type is active and that's going to be the condition for this branch bring this over here okay if it is active we are going to grab our first person camera and set active so if it's true when we hit the button we want our set our first person camera as active check that there and then we're going to duplicate this Oops. and let's just drag in another third person camera that's going to go to this one and we want to set that one to not be active. And then we are actually going to duplicate this. So let's just duplicate those. And this is going to be if the condition is false. Tie that to that that to that but we are going to toggle these the other way all right and with that change making these active we also need to do another change based on how the camera rotation view is so let's use controller rotation y'all when we go into first person camera we want to use controller rotation y'all so we want it so that when we turn the camera our character is turning with that okay and then duplicate that run that down here and this one activates third person we want to turn that off and i think we're good let's comment this toggle camera between third person and first person compile save let's jump in and test this out so here we are we're in our third person we hit our v key now we are in our first person now this is i did not mention this but this is a true first person camera so if you ever see that term true first person means you can look down and see your body there's a lot of first person games where you can't look down and see your body and we get that here and it's actually seeing the third person character model we we could change this up and we may do so later down the road maybe we change how the first person handles but you'll notice the only thing that looks weird is if you're strafing left and right the character is not doing a strafe animation and that's just because we don't have any strafe animations tied to the game so if we go back to third person in third person because of the way it's being controlled left and right actually turns the character that direction so later in our series when we actually add some strafing animations it, it everything will show up correctly because then when we go in first person and strafe we'll actually see those animations that is it we have our first person character view here we can toggle back and forth Everything else still, is work, still works with our healing and our stamina. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. And I'll see you in the next one.